You tell me if these are stylish or not. Maybe safety first is fashion forward. I took a few days off from fencing. It was a nice break. We bought a goat and it was good to have a chance to bond with her a little bit. All the wood posts that I set in concrete have had a chance to cure. I'm sure there's many ways to set up livestock fencing. This video will take a look at how I do it. I'm all set up to do my first H brace. Wendy really doesn't like helping with this kind of stuff. So brace yourself. This is a look at how one person can set up livestock fencing. The fencing will be 48 inches tall. So I set up these temporary two by fours to have 48 inches be right about the middle of where the cross brace will be. The spacing here is a little less than eight feet and I've got a 10 foot two by four here. This helps make sure that the brace will be level. It's also a nice guide when I go to drill my holes because I can easily just follow right along the parallel so that I know my holes will be in line with the fence. All of the upright poles are treated timbers that I bought from Tractor Supply. I think I'll be able to get pretty much all of the H braces that I need out of timbers that I've scavenged from our own land. One thing I like about this kind of a setup is it's very easy to get an accurate measurement for exactly how long your H brace needs to be. I just got a brand new chainsaw. It's a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. It's gas powered and it's much more heavy duty than my other chainsaw. That one's an Ego Electric. It's good to have two chainsaws just in case one isn't working for some reason. You've got another one as a backup so you're still in business. Wendy wasn't super happy about investing in another chainsaw, but she did want me to start wearing more safety apparel. So we found a compromise. I agreed to wear these when I'm using this heavy duty chainsaw. I've already tried the first cut. I just cut a little sliver off the end of that so it'd be nice and flush and it went straight through super easy. So I'm pretty excited about this new saw. This was kind of a long piece to cut, so, so going across this way seemed the safest way to do it. My cut will be right here, so I'm not in danger of uh, getting too close with the blade to this concrete ramp. You tell me if these are stylish or not. Maybe safety first is fashion forward. The brace pins are long and short. I'm gonna use the short pin on the end of the fence line. 
can I just say how nice it is now that we have power to our goat barn to be able to use corded power tools out here. just a little bit of this pin sticking out on this side so I can hold my diagonal bracing wire. I'm using inch and a half double barbed staples. This creates a channel for the wire to rest in and not cut into the wood. I've shifted my focus from working here 
to over there. We're going to get a big shipping container to park right here for, uh, for hay storage for the goats. And because we're going to have to level this off with some gravel, we're not quite sure exactly how high up the gravel needs to go and whether or not that will affect the height of the fence. So until I've got that clear in my mind, I'm just going to work over here. I do like the rustic look of these cross braces. For this one, I picked one that was just slightly not straight so it wouldn't look too off. The ground slightly slopes this direction here. So proportionally, the brace will have to be farther up from the fence on this side and farther down on the fence on this side. Overall, I wanted the field to be just horizontal cross braces. Attaching the diagonal twitch wire for support on these end posts is a little bit tricky when you just have one person. I do have this little channel to work with there to hold the wire. And the other end of the wire will be right down there where I've got another hanging staple to pull against. I've crisscrossed the wires so they'd stay nice and tight and uh, just look a little neater. Of course, this wire needs to go from the bottom of the outside post to the top of where the fence will be on the inline post. There will be more fencing videos in the near future. Thanks for watching. Remember, your dreams are closer than the moon. Thanks for taking this trip around the moon with us.